Today's a very important day because we're coming together to talk about the Intelligent Access Program. So here's a chance to bring together a whole cross-section of people to work on the problem and to come up with a solution that works for everyone. Our focus for today is really on improving productivity while managing vulnerable assets. Topics like these are particularly complicated because there's so many people involved in them. Uh, that we've had to respond to that in terms of the design of the day. I'm really excited about the diverse range of stakeholders we have. We have government, road operators and managers, transport operators, technology providers, innovative thought leaders and regulatory bodies all here together. The IAP as a reform was introduced 10 years ago and it's, it's possible that we've forgotten some of the original policy foundations that were established at the time and the reason why the IAP as a major economic reform at the time was introduced. Now, if we walk away today with a better, a better understanding of what those original principles were and uh, whether those principles still hold, I think we'll have a better, a better success uh, in moving forward and managing this tension between productivity, safety and asset management. I'd really like to get more clarity around access conditions in New South Wales. Um, I'd like to be able to see alternatives to, to IAP and the way that we can access local road networks. Last mile and first mile access is a big key for us. Something that I think it would be great for us to get out of today from a Microsoft perspective is to work on a pilot program with one of the transport providers that we've met with today on a connected vehicles um, proof of concept. Hopefully the trials incorporate the use of uh, people's uh, own telemetrics that they got on board already um, and we can uh, see yeah, what the positives are there compared to uh, what we currently have with the IAP. From Boral's perspective, everything's about data at the moment and this looks like a great opportunity to see what data's out there, see what the different players are, see where we can get more data from, see what data we can actually provide back up to the industry as well. Today it's obvious that there's a whole heap of information that's out there that's held by the technology industry as well as by the transport industry. I think the challenge is is to go to the breadth of information that's out there um, as well as agreeing across different sectors and different interests what information is of most value. So from the NHVR's perspective, we're interested in obviously helping industry get their vehicles moving. We'd like to see the elimination of the need for things like permits as a last resort and, and actually utilise the telematics data that's been collected on a daily basis by operators already. IOP is obviously really important to us, but looking to the future, heavy vehicle, in-vehicle telematics is absolutely the way to go. And so uh, I'm really keen to see where the journey is going to take us. The key challenge for us is to make sure that we improve productivity for the freight industry at the same time as making sure our communities are safe and our assets are protected and well managed. So it's finding that balance and getting it right in the new environment with new technology and new ways of doing things. We started this morning hearing from uh, the policy framework and really also from all of the different people in the room to understand what are their current challenges. But as we've tipped into the afternoon, we've actually handed over the design of the session to them. The group collectively, 45 people identified 12 topics, which they've been going out into breakouts to do some work on, have some discussions on, and ultimately we're going to land those in three or four pilot programs that will help us close the gap on the, the problem that we're facing. Well, I think what you achieved today is you brought the industry together and made them realise that data is king. But the format of the data and the amount of data needs to be reviewed. Well, as far as we're concerned, they've agreed to use um, the current technology and, and uh, telematrics that are in some of the vehicles, so they've agreed to do that. Um, and they're, uh, they're having a good look at the, uh, the whole program, and uh, that's long over, overdue. So one of the uh, things that has become aware to me as a result of today is the plea from operators in particular to get some deeper insight 
into the compliance information that we're getting out of IAP and that we're taking action on. So we've made a commitment today to look at sharing that information to our industry partners and colleagues and we'll be looking at what compliance information we can provide in relation to IAP. It's actually been a very good day and, and some of the challenges that I thought we might, might face were differences of, of what we actually are trying to achieve and I think we're very aligned on achieving sharing of data um, and, and giving better access to industry to the, the road network. The pilots that we've kind of been talking about from a Microsoft perspective have been around blockchain and connected vehicles and we're looking forward to working with the various parties to progress those further. I've got a couple of little mini projects there that hopefully we can get off the ground. Hopefully we'll keep working over the next three, six, nine months and um, we'll have a couple of proof of concepts running. I love the fact that it was a collaborative approach. All the main players were here. It was great to have everyone together and get all the in input together. Wow, what a great day. I mean, we've really covered a whole lot of ground thinking outside the square on a lot of different solutions. We've talked through some of the issues and really had some serious conversations about what we think needs to happen. So I think now we're about um, what we can trial and we've got some really strong ideas for some pilots that I, I really want to see us develop up and put out into the field to extend and move us forward in this space.